Hey guys, this is Martin Wright from Argos Dog Training in Boston. And today we're gonna to be talking really briefly, really quickly about why, five reasons why you shouldn't get a dog. And we're gonna start with number five and we're gonna go four, three, two, one, and we're gonna go all the way up to one. So here we go. Number five reason not to get a dog is to get a partner. I know sometimes you get a puppy and somebody who's already kind of interested in you, they will see the puppy and they will use it as a way to break the ice. You could also use your puppy as a way to break the ice too. And that is okay if you already wanted a dog. But if the only reason you're getting a dog is to help you break the ice with people who you're interested in, that is not a valid reason to get a dog. Because you're using the dog then, right? Instead of getting a dog to make a relationship with that dog. Reason number four, not to get a dog, to intimidate other people. When I was a young child, there was, there was a number of people in my neighborhood who would look for the biggest, toughest dogs, you know? Um, they, you know, just because they wanted to have those dogs so that way they could intimidate others and they could, I guess, feel some sense of security. But it's not even really security that, these, that people were looking for. They just wanted to have the toughest dog. Now, my thing with that is that, you know, you have to make sure that we're working on our own self-confidence. I don't need to have the toughest dog. You know, I don't feel the need to intimidate others. Um, and that's because of the confidence I have. Other things that you can do so that way you don't feel that way is take a martial arts class. You know, um, take some gymnastics, go lift some weights. You'll feel bigger, you'll feel stronger, you'll feel more confident in yourself, and then you won't need that other dog just to intimidate others. Once again, in my opinion, that is using a dog rather than building a relationship or having a primary focus to be building a relationship with the dog. So to me, that's not a valid reason to get a dog. The third reason not to get a dog, this one is a little bit off to the side, but it is because you think the dog is cute. Now, if that's the only reason, once again, if you think the dog is cute, you already have the other things in place of why you want to get a dog and you think the dog is cute, um, then that is a valid reason to get that particular dog. But if you're just walking down the street minding your business or you walk into a place where they have animals, pets for sale and you see a cute dog and you're like, that dog is cute, that is not a reason to get a dog. To fall into the same category, another reason not to get a dog is because you feel guilty. Like you walk into the um, pet shop and you know that the dog came from a puppy mill and you're like, I need to buy this puppy mill puppy so that way it doesn't stay here in the pet shop. That is not a reason to get a dog. Or you go to a breeder and the breeder is like, all right, here are the last ones here. There's only one left. So they, maybe we should keep, no, don't feel guilty because you're splitting up a dog pack at a puppyhood um, and you wanna keep both of them so that way they stay together with, no, that's not a good reason to get a dog. I guess this is 3A is because the dog is cute. 3B is because you feel guilty because of the dog's circumstances. Um, 3C is because you want to cuddle with the dog on the couch. You know, it's kind of the same thing. You want to, it has to be more than just me wanting to, to cuddle with the dog for me to get the dog. Because once again, that is me using the dog right? Um, it's same thing with being cute. Just because a dog is cute, that's not a good enough reason to get a dog. Because once again, to me, it feels like me using the dog. Reason number two to not get a dog is because you want to go to the dog park. Um, so no one has ever said out loud to me that um, the reason they got a dog is because they want to go to the dog park. But when I'm doing my consultations with new clients, one of the most popular things when I ask people, you know, what they like doing with their dog, one of the most popular things is going to the dog park. You know, the image that we have in our mind when we get a dog is like, I get a dog and then I go to the dog park. So it almost becomes a reason to get a dog. You could always go to the dog park, guys. I don't recommend it. You know, I don't, re I don't recommend it too much if you don't have a dog. Even if you do have a dog, I don't really recommend it because of, you know, things that happen in the dog park. But you could always go. You know, you don't need a dog to go to the dog park. And you can enjoy watching the other dogs run around, hopefully, if they're friendly. So that is not a reason by itself to get a dog. 
Number one reason why you shouldn't get a dog is because the children promise that they will take care of the dog. Now I've been doing this for over a decade, training dogs, working with families, working with dogs, and I get a ton of clients every year who they say, we got the dog, the child, 16, eight, seven, two, it doesn't matter how old, the 19, promise that they will take care of the dog and will walk the dog and will do all the things that they do with dogs that's supposed to be done. They never do, you guys. Not only that, um, dogs wanna be with the adults in the family. You know, they like playing with the children and so forth, but as soon as like the play settles down, they usually will come and find us, the adults, and they wanna hang out with us. You know, so because a child makes a promise to you that they will take care of the dog and so forth and so on, that is not a good reason to get a dog because even although their best intentions might be to take care of the dog, chances are they won't. Of course, if you have one of those special children because they are out there who actually will do everything to take care of the dog, that falls in a different category. You're an exception to the rule and you should, you should really take really special care of your child because you have a very special child. In most cases, they will promise to high heaven that they will do everything for the dog and they won't. Not only that, we have to keep in mind that most of the time, they can't. For example, taking the dog to a vet is expensive and you have a five-year-old child, they, they probably do not have the money management skills to be able to work that out. So keep that in mind as you, um, as you start to select your dog. I hope that you enjoy what you saw here. I hope that these things give you some ideas about whether you wanna get a dog or not, get a dog. If you have some other reasons why you think that we should get dogs or shouldn't get dogs, or if you think my reasons are just straight up plain BS, then please let me know in the comments. If you like what you see here, definitely check our description below for our other social media outlets. Also, keep your ears open for the People's Wolf podcast. It is already out and we're just rolling. We're just doing more and more and more with that. So, you might have watched video one or video two. Video one might be, when should I get a dog? Video two might be, when should I get a dog? But either way, whichever one you watch, watch the other one too. And click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and do all the things that you're supposed to do because you know you want to help out the channel. Till next time, enjoy your day and enjoy your dog.